So first of all, welcome Saroj Bano. You belong to which place, Ajmer? Yes, sir. I belong to Nasirabad in district Ajmer of Rajasthan. Okay. And what is your father? My father is in army. He is Subedar Major in army. Okay. You are going for Rastriya Military School teaching interview, right? Yes, sir. So first of all, I want to know from you, what do you know about Rastriya Military School? Sir, Rashtriya Military School is established as, as King George Royal Indian Military School, okay. uh, which is basically established to, to take care of uh, sons of uh, defense personnel. Okay. There are five uh, Rashtriya Military School in India. First is Rashtriya Military School Bangalore, which is established, uh, established in 1946. Then Rashtriya Military School Belgaon, which is all which is established on uh, uh, in 1945. After that, uh, Rashtriya Military School Chell, which is established in 1922. RMS uh, that is that is Rashtriya Military School Ajmer, which is established on 15th November 19, uh, 1930. And the last one is Rashtriya Military School Dholpur, which is fifth and the youngest Rashtriya Military School. Uh, which was established on 19, in 1962. Okay. And uh, what is the motto of Rashtriya Military School? Sir, motto of Rashtriya Military School is uh, Shilam Param Bhushanam, which means uh, character is the highest virtue. And the previous motto was play the game. And what is the motto of army? Sir, uh, the motto of army is uh, servo par, uh, uh, seva sar, uh, parmo dharma, seva parmo dharma, uh, that is service before self. Very good, very good. Okay. Now you are going for a teaching profession in Rashtriya Military School. So I want to know from you that why you opted military school as your career? What is the reason? So first of all, this is a very prestigious institute and I will be happy to work in this. Okay. Uh, so my parents, uh, parents has uh, inculcated in me that if if wealth is lost, uh, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. But if character is lost, everything is lost. And the main motto uh, and the motto of Rashtra Military School is uh, Shilam Param Bhushanam, which means character is the highest virtue. Uh, and this motivates me to uh, to to be the part of this institute and. Uh, uh, and follow the disciplinary lifestyle of this institute as I myself belongs to an army family. Okay. Why you opted to be a teaching career? Like you have done your uh, master's and uh, in computers. So why you opted teaching? What is the reason behind that? Sir, uh, first of all, teaching is a noble profession. Okay. And... Uh, uh, teaching is a noble profession and that that allows an individual to shape character caliber and future of us uh, of an individual individual okay and uh, the second thing is that uh, it allows an individual to mold the future of a country okay as uh, the children and the youth are the ultimate future of country and the, this is the best suited profession for me because i love to be with uh, with children and Children can easily talk to me and without any hesitation. And I, I try. Uh, I am also eligible to uh, solve their problems, which uh, which gives me immense satisfaction. Okay. Your father is on what post in army? Uh, sir, he is a subedar major. Okay. Do you know which the is rankings? A, uh, Yes, sir. I know the rankings. There okay. are three categories of rankings. There are three categories of rankings uh, in army. Yes. First is non-commissioned, uh, non-commissioned uh, ranks. Okay. First is sipai, then lance nayak, nayak, then uh, mm, then havaldar, then quartermaster havaldar. This is non-commissioned. Then we have junior commission that is naib subedar, subedar, and subedar major. Okay. After that, we have commissioned uh, commissioned officers rank. First is <clears throat> first is lieutenant, captain, major. Then we have uh, 
लेफ्टिनेंट कैप मेजर देन लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल लेफ्टिनेंट कॉलोनल देन कॉलोनल आफ्टर दैट वी हैव लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल जनरल एंड देन लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल जनरल एंड देन वी हैव ब्रिगेडियर एंड कोर्ट मास्टर मिलिट्री स्कूल so very soon you'll come to know all these things okay no worry at all how many commands are there yes sir sir there are seven yeah. commands seven uh, yes yes sir name... there are seven commands in army yes sir central command is uh, central command is lucknow then we have eastern command in kolkata western command in chandi mandir and northern command in udhampur south western command jaipur and uh, southern command pune and we have a training center in uh, shimla okay suppose somebody want to come in uh, school like rashtriya military school so what qualities a person should have according to you if you are going for a military school teacher sir first of all uh, a teacher should be superior in its knowledge he knows about his responsibilities as it is a residential school so there are Uh, multiple responsibilities uh, more than a day school as teacher has to has to take care of the students their feelings also and uh, uh, a teacher in uh, just, uh, in this prestigious institute is is the person who molds the student to to fit in the this profession in this defense profession and it inculcates the educates self confidence and morale in the students Give he should your... be creative as yes sir he should a... also be creative in a field yes, give sir. us your complete introduction sir i am saroj banu uh, my name matches my personality as i am a competitive girl and love challenges i belong to nasirabad which is known for its cantonment uh, i have done my bachelor's in computer applications from mds university with 85% and came first in my class I have done my MCA from Rajasthan Technical University Kota with eighty six point eight percent, and became gold medalist of my university. I have a salubrious experience of working in Navodaya Vidyalay as computer instructor. I have participated in voiceovers, voiceovers on various personalities, and got an opportunity to teach on FM about topics related to science and computer science. I have. participated in national science congress and national science olympiads also and also attended workshops on jewelry designing and self defense um, my hobbies are teaching exploring new culture natural photography cooking and playing with kids uh, my strength are i am a self confident self confident motivated disciplined and an amiable personality wonderful you opted you, computer as your career right so yes sir what is the reason and what is the importance of computer in today's scenario sir uh, this uh, computer science is an emerging and empowering branch nowadays in this age most of the sectors are using computer science i would say all the sectors are using computer science and computers uh, without computer all the sectors are handicapped i would say if uh and uh, nowadays if we see uh, if we see computer it is uh, it is uh, developing with double speed mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, if we have seen we have seen its importance in covid covid epidemic also and uh, whether it is a health sector and uh, whether it is a health sector education sector or um, research and development all these sectors or all, all these sectors uh are using digital infrastructure for their development and thus giving more opportunity to computer literate okay. so that's why i use i chose computer as my career okay suppose today is your first class in rms rashtriya military school yes, and uh, students are awaiting that uh, madam is new to us so how will you interact with the student the very first day what you will do so very first day first of all i will introduce myself to the student and trying to try to uh, familiar with their with their with them also and uh, try to be on the level where they are i will ask them some questions 
uh, whether they know about things or not so that uh, i can uh, can come on their level and then teach them i will yeah, i will first of all uh, give my introduction that uh, i am your new tgt computer science teacher and uh, i i give them chance to talk to me so that they can uh, place the queries to me as well as i i try to know where, how to teach them how to teach them which type of uh, uh, tools i can use uh, to teach them based upon their level okay when you'll go in ajmer or Del uh, dholpur i think these are the two places for you so wherever you'll yes, go sir. you'll find uh, almost 90% my own students those who are prepared from me regarding interview and they will be very happy to see you the thing is that when you will go there uh, importance is your own confidence okay and your communication because uh, in computer science that is totally english based okay i have written some yes, of sir. your weaknesses and your strengths also while taking your interview so i'll definitely convey yes, for this interview i will definitely tell to you okay and before that yes, sir. i want to ask from you that in class there are different different students like some are very intelligent and some are slow learners they learn very well but they take time so how will you manage and what you will do that your class will be in equilibrium and you will focus on every student because there are variation in the qualities and the learning of students so how will you manage this so uh, for slow learners uh, I will make them, uh, I will change their sitting arrangement first. I will make sure that they are sitting with the intelligent students so that uh, as the company matters a lot, they will uh, learn from them. They will ask something. Maybe they will hesitate from me so they can ask from them. So uh, that is also a plus point for, uh, for, to learn things as well as I will ask questions from them so that I will, uh, I will, uh, First of all, I will uh, explain the topic. Then I try to question simple questions from them so that they can gain confidence and uh, they are uh, they are motivated towards learning, learning more things. I will also uh, I will also uh, use creative activities like Lukkar Natak, role plays, or TLMs to to make them more familiar with the topic and get interest interest in it. Uh, then I will take uh, surprise tests also, uh, revision classes, extra classes for them, so that uh, if they can't ask those, uh, can't uh, um, if they are not able to ask questions in class, they can ask me separately, and uh, I talk to them separately uh, on academics as well as their personal uh, problems if they have, so that uh, which are hampering their learnings. So that is also a, a way to uh, treat them okay. or to uh, make their learning faster. Right. See, uh, you are going coming in Rashtra Military School where discipline plays a vital role. Still, I can say that in yes, classes, you will find some naughty students also. So how will you handle these yes, sir. type of students? Sir, notorious students are everywhere in the class in each class you will see notorious students also so uh, uh, if they are not handled properly they will hamper the learning of other students also okay. so uh, i would say i will first of all not allow them to sit in a group because these activities uh, are done in group only yes so uh, first of all this and the second thing is that i uh, i will turn, they are actually very energetic people we are, they are just channelizing their energy in a wrong direction. So we as a teacher have to channelize their energy in a correct direction in a productive way. We can engage them into some creative activities uh, So uh, in the class which are uh, happening in the class where we are, if I am uh, if I am explaining something, I can use them as a volunteer so that they learn the topic as well as they uh, they are interested they learn the topic and get interest in the subject okay. so this is my and i will also ask questions from them while teaching so that they can pay attention attention to the uh, in the class right see uh, now my personal question from you how you come to know about pd classes and how you felt the course 
with online course with us sir uh, i have come to first of all i have searched for uh, rms interviews then uh, teaching interviews so the first youtube video was yours so that's why i have seen uh, multiple videos then i analyzed properly that uh, there yes there is a guidance for students as as well as uh, i feel that uh, this is the perfect place where i can get the perfect guidance from you so that's why i have joined this pd classes and my experience was very good as in from first day only when you have uh, uh, asked me for a personal introduction and all those uh, all those you have taught is very significant for me uh, for me as a student and as a teacher also as i am going for a teaching profession so that helped me a lot and i think this guidance will help me in my near future also you were about to come previously to us regarding offline but since you have your own obligations and on uh, work so you did online and we tried our best yes, sir. to give you the best also and some of yes sir you... i think i think my efforts are less but your efforts are more than me no no you deserve <laughs> everything i have written some of your strengths and weaknesses which really needs okay if you would be here then within fourth day or third day all these things would be removed but since you are online so it takes one or day extra the thing is now meet our students first of all uh, from alwar okay you know very well mr hello sandeep aapko kaisa laga course yes sir pd classes sir bahut acha laga okay. mere ko yahan pe aake bahut improvement hua mera yahan yahan pe aur mere ko bahut acha laga aur aapke efforts aur maine bhi jo mehnat ki aapke sath milke aapne jo hame mehnat karwai okay bahut acha laga sir aur aws ke liye ja rahe hai prt aur next mr vishal mr vishal aap delhi se ho आपको कैसा लगा पीडी हेलो सर क्लासेस आर वेरी गुड ओके और आपने जो गाइड किया है बहुत ही अच्छा है और इससे बहुत ही ज्यादा इम्प्रूवमेंट आई है ओके okay. चलिए बहुत अच्छा है और फूड एकोमोडेशन में कोई प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं आई आपको यहाँ सर ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड और अब मैं चाहूंगा की हम लोग अब बात करें द इम्पोर्टेंट टास्क ऑफ ब्रह्मस्तर राइट और ब्रह्मस्तर की पर उससे पहले हम चाहेंगे सरोज को कुछ वीकनेसेस भी बताए ताकि वो वो पॉइंट सरोज एक बार दोबारे करे क्योंकि मंडे को मैं आपको मिलाने yes, वाला हूँ उस कैंडिडेट से जो हमारा स्टूडेंट है सिलेक्टेड है एनबीएस में टॉपर लिस्ट पर है नंबर वन लिस्ट पे है वो आपको मैंने बताया भी था विकास पाल हाँ जी सर हाँ जी वो एनबीएस में सिलेक्टेड है और इंटरव्यू का जो रिजल्ट आया उसमें नंबर वन लिस्ट पर उसका है आपके हरियाणा से हमारे स्टूडेंट थी नीतू फिजिकल एजुकेशन की थी नंबर वन लिस्ट पे थी इंटरव्यू के अंदर तो जब नंबर वन लिस्ट पे होता है तो ऑब्वियस है कि हमें खुशी मिलती है कि चलो यार मार्क्स बहुत शानदार गेन किए हैं तो अब समय आ गया सरोज के लिए वीकनेसेस के बारे में बताने का ओके यस सर तो सरोज हम लोग अपनी वीकनेसेस yes, के बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं ओके और हम चाहेंगे कि उसके बाद में हम तीनों जने डिस्कस करेंगे ब्रह्म स्तर क्योंकि अभी तक हमने जो okay, दुनिया को दिया है या दिखाया है या प्रैक्टिस की है इसको प्रैक्टिस सेशन बोला जाता है ये पांच छह दिन जो हम लगा रहे हैं ये एक प्रैक्टिस है एक्चुअली में मैंने आपको जो भी दिया है ब्रह्म स्तर उसको बदलेगा उसमें बहुत चेंजेस लेकर आएगा इवन आपके इंट्रोडक्शन में बदलाव आ जाएगा जो आपने अभी हमें दिया इंट्रोडक्शन वो इंट्रोडक्शन नहीं देना है टीचर में क्या क्वालिटी okay, आपने जो भी हमें बताया है उसके अंदर चेंजेस आएंगे वो ब्रह्म स्तर है क्योंकि ब्रह्म स्तर बेसिक कंसेप्ट पे चलता है कि एक्चुअली में वहां जाकर क्या होगा अभी मैं इनके साथ डिस्कस ही कर रहा था जब आपका कांटेक्ट हो रहा था हमसे तो मैं इनको बता रहा था कि ब्रह्मस्तर का पहला रूल ही बहुत भयंकर है वो ये कहता है कि भाई जब आप इंटरव्यू देने जाते हैं ना सब कुछ ब्लैंक हो जाएगा एक बार के लिए आपको जो सर ने करवाया ना वो एक तरफ है अब आपको वो करना है जो ब्रह्मस्तर आपको कहेगा ठीक है तो हम लोग उसको शेयरअप करते हैं आपके साथ और पहले मैं आपकी वीकनेसेस शेयरअप करता हूँ आप उन चीजों पर वर्क जरूर करें एक बार दोबारा जब मैं नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू लू क्योंकि मंडे को तो मैं आपका इंटरेक्शन करवा के कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टॉपिक रखूंगा आपका तो कंप्यूटर बेस्ड प्रैक्टिस करवा yes, ना और उसके बाद में अपने देख लेंगे कोई वीकनेस अपने को लगती है तो और ब्रह्मस्तर मैं एडवांस इसलिए दे रहा हूँ क्योंकि ये कैंडिडेट्स भी आज ब्रह्मस्तर लेते तो इनको बेनिफिट मिल जाएगा आपके साथ ओके गेट रेडी ओके सर ये सर 